Hi everyone, welcome to Loving Life. My name is Victoria and today I'm going to show you how to make those wonderful uh, pork side uh, ribs with smoky and amazing gravy and they are just falling off the bone and exactly what you need for your weekend. So I hope you enjoy this idea and stay tuned to watch how I made it. Let's start. Take your side ribs. I love this uh, So Family farm. It's a free range pork. It tastes very nice. To this, I'm adding barbecue sauce. Now, make your own barbecue sauce or buy your favorite one. I love this one. It's a bit spicy, so it gives this, you know, smoky, spicy kick to the dish. To this, I'm adding maple syrup. You can add honey or dark uh, sugar. It's up to you. I really love the maple syrup flavored. And then no salt seasoning. This is uh, Kirkland. You can buy it in any Costco. And it's really nice blend of flavors. Uh, and to add more smokiness to barbecue sauce, I'm adding smoked paprika. It gives a lot of smokiness and has, uh, a lot of good flavor to it. This is absolutely optional. You don't need to add the turmeric. I love to add it. And then I'm adding cinnamon. Cinnamon gives this unbelievable, unbelievable smell to it. And because I don't love it too sweet, I love a bit acidity, I'm adding um, about two tablespoons of uh, fresh lemon juice. A bit of salt on top and vegetable broth. You can use uh, beef broth, chicken broth. I love this vegetable broth, it's full of uh, flavor and it's amazing, about two cups of this. Then pop the lid on and let it cook for six to eight hours on high. After six hours you can check and if it starts to fall off the bone, you can take it out. If not, let it cook another couple of hours and uh, that's it. Let's make the gravy. Okay, take some vessel. To vessel add starch. I'm going to add potato starch, as you see here. One tablespoon of it. You can add corn starch. Uh, I love potato starch. It has a little bit different uh, vibe, like uh, texture to it, but really it doesn't matter. And then mix it very well with cold water. It doesn't really matter how much, I don't know, a couple of tablespoons, two, three, like so, until it dissolved completely. I took the juices out of the slow cooker and I brought it to a boil. Now, to this I'm adding slowly and make sure that it will dissolve from the from the down there because if it stands for two seconds it will uh, the starch will sink and mix until it thickens it takes a couple of minutes or so I hope you will give it a go and if you do let me know, snip a picture, upload to Instagram and hashtag it with Victoria Pikin and uh, we shall share all the yummy tasty videos and recipes. So thank you so much for being with me and don't forget to subscribe, write me a comment, thumbs up me and cheers, loving life. See you next time. Bye!